Today we're going to paint the ginger cat. If you are a member of Enjoying Art, now you can come to our learning center to view the full video and download the reference. If you want to learn about the technique of using these two brushes, now you can come to enjoyingart.com brushes. Now let's start this painting. Let's do a little quick drawing with my watercolor brush. Where we're going to place it. Take a look at the overall shape, the top over here and the bottom would be here. So this is the left side over here like that. And then the ear top over here. This is all dealing with your feeling about how you're going to use the spaces. You are going to constantly check in your feeling throughout the entire painting process. And I'm going to just take a little gray color. I can do it right here and including the bottom. So now we can see. Now we're going to try to lift the light area. Now we're going to start from the top. Also some member asked me from time to time, do you always start from light to dark? So far, what we have done is it's not painting. It's only composition. Now I start the painting. You see, do I start light or dark? No, I'm not start light or dark. Uh, there is no such thing uh, as a rule. I start with however, whatever is going to take to make a really fast composition with color. I'm going to take this. I'm going to move this dark color a little bit more to with the right side. I'm going to have a little bit over here. I'm going to changing that a little bit. Okay, like that. And I'm going to have some dark color over here. Now I'm going to see is that sounds like look like uh, abstract approach. Okay, now I'm going to have some little middle tone gray color have a little bit more water right here. Here you go. I'm going to touching this. Okay, and a little bit lighter, just get the water, here you go. And then going around over here, okay, here we go. And go around the shape, here we go. Coming on the outside over here. Okay, now I'm going to get some yellow color. I'm going to get some fresh yellow color. I need some thicker yellow color. I'm going to just use the corner of this brush, take some yellow color and see, I'm going to have some uh, Windsor blue uh, green shade. Now I'm going to start putting some this green color right over here and still wet so it's perfect to put that putting that in make a create a soft feeling okay like that get a little bit more of that and take a look here you go like that a little green color over here and even have a little bit more green. Just put it there, wet into wet. And I can even put a little bit over here. Here we go. Now I'm going to put quite a bit of, now get more, a lot more yellow color. And here we go. Now this color is not going to be on top of um, the dark color, but in fact is integrate with the dark color and also push the dark color away. It's going to penetrate into the existing color. Okay, here we go, like that. Oh, wait a minute. I have to stop this. Sorry about that. You don't really see the, the true color. Uh, uh, I was really bad uh, with the background. Okay, here we go. Now, 
<laughs> it's perfect. Not <laughs> much better. Okay. <laughs> That's right. It's all the green color disappear. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's continue. Okay. Now we are continue have some little bit darker to get a little bit blue color. Now coming on this side. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to have even a little bit blue green color tap on it and think about how it create a better picture, create better balance. Okay, now coming over here, like that. That's good. Over right here, that's good. Now coming this front over here, or the other side over here again. And I'm gonna tap on it a little bit more. And I like the texture over here, that's good. Now at the same time, now I'm going to come into the color of the fur of the cat. Now I'm going to clean my brush more. I'm going to use the color curvy brush and I'm going to take the yellow color right over here. Mix it well. And I'm going to have some red color right from here. That's good. It's too dark. I know it's the color too dark. And I'm going to get a little bit more yellow color. Now here you go. And I'm also going to use quite a bit of water. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to start from the back over here. Now I'm going to mix it, connect with the wet color and the, and the edge. Here we go. I lift the ear along because it have a different feeling of color, a little bit more gray. I'm going to continue, take a little bit more water in the brush. Now here you go. I don't know how it's going to look like, how the water is going to react to the edges painting around the eye. Even though around the eye also a little bit lighter, but we're going to do a little lifting for that. Okay, take a look at the inside here. That slow the triangle like that is good. Coming down over here, you see everything can be under your control as long as you ease your mind and don't make your mind frustrated. And uh, it looks like I have a little green color underneath here because it has some green color. I'm gonna also have a little lighter gray color and maybe change that to some other color if I want. That's good. And a little bit coming in, a little shape like that. There's another part over here. I'm going to come in here. This a little bit in a little bit. So it's actually very easy to control with this brush using a yellow color again and a little bit red. Here you go. Make this two color together. And this time actually have a little bit more orange color. When I started painting watercolor, I have the same feeling that probably you all have. Seems like watercolor has a lot of limitation. I cannot go really deep. I cannot make a very strong contrast. And I really, there's always something that watercolor that cannot as much free as oil, right? or acrylics or other opaque medium because I just can't go really deep. And this is why I start searching and say, what kind of color should I use, the paper I use, and what kind of brushes that I should use. That's very important. So it can give you the whole freedom this, as much as any other medium that can do. I present to you all my materials. Just take a look at the video description if you're on YouTube and you can see, oh, those are the paper you use. This is the paint you use. I only use mostly the three primary colors. And now we're gonna take a look at the, uh, the forehead. I'm gonna mix a little bit brown color. Take the red with this color. I think this is perfect. It maybe have a little bit yellow color to it. 
And if you think like this a lot, you can get the color really, really quick and easy. I'm gonna have a little bit stripe coming down like this. Here you go, a little bit stripe. Look, observe, get the evidence, and a little bit over here in the middle. And there's one. Here we go, like that, coming out of the middle. And a little bit softer. Here we go. And the outside, and here you go. Get a little bit different color, and it would make it show. And now coming in the middle over here, in the ear, here you go, like that. That's good. And the outside over here, a little bit like that. And the edge over here, when I see. Let's see. And a little bit darker color, a little bit later. Okay, because this is still wet. Okay, a little bit corner over here. And take a look at the corner of the eye. It's right here. There you go. And if the color a little bit too sharp, we can soften that. It's pretty easy. And take a look at the edge over here, like that. That's a little bit soft. That's pretty good. Okay. And that's the eye here. It's pretty good already. And I'm going to soften that uh, the top over here. Just use the water. Here you go. Like that. Okay. Now I'm going to soften this a little bit. Now take a look. I'm going to have this same color, maybe I have a little bit more yellow and the blue. Now makes this a little bit too, that's a little bit too warm. And that's good. Now a little bit over here coming in, a little bit stripe on the cheek and the side over here, a little bit color like that. And a little bit uh, greenish color in the middle. I'll come back a little bit later. Okay, now I'll take a look at underneath we're gonna create a little bit, just a little bit, um, this uh, gray color. Take a look. Take a look at the big shape. Look at that. That's good. The separation coming over here. That's good. Like that. A little bit softer. Like that. All right. Now I'm coming to over here, the mouth. Take a look. There's a little turning like that. Okay, take a look at the nose right here. That. I put the gray color first just to create a transition. Okay, like that. That's good. A little bit more. So a little bit here, a little bit more clear. That's good. And of course, in the corner over here, we can take, put the darker color a little bit later. Okay. Now I have some indication of form. A little bit softer over here. Now the bottom over here, soften there a little bit. Let it come down a little bit more. And maybe have a little bit more like that. That's pretty good. All right, just follow me. This step is more of following my uh, step of thinking and the process of thinking and when you should think about what and, and, and how you are going to pick up the different elements and at what stage. That's very important. Now you can come back over here. It's already dry, right? So a little bit drier. Okay, coming over here like that. Okay, and what brushes I'm using at different step. Okay, here you go. A little bit darker over here. I come back a little bit later. Now I'm going to add just a little bit the orange color. Now that's the skin color. That's good. Now, yes, that's good. And now a little bit more red. Just take the little red color in the middle, a little pink color in the middle of the nose. That's good. 
so I can come back to do more a little bit later and also have a little bit very light orange color here we go and uh, that's the base of the whisker and a little bit lighter and also a little bit the same color in the mouth now I'm going to soften that a little bit over here like that that's good okay and also get a little bit light gray and blue color like that here you go have a little bit those textures in this let's go that's good Very good. I'm going to have some gray color over here too. It's a quite a bit of change of form right over here. I'm going to lift up a little bit, make it a little bit softer like that. That's good. And a little bit orange color and also have a little bit texture over here too. Okay, a little texture over here. Now I can get a little bit smaller and smaller shape. And here we go. I'm going to get that a little bit darker. A little bit darker over here. That's good. And now we're going to see a little bit orange color over here. Coming in here. A little bit orange color over here. When you take a look at the left side, think about the right side. Think about geometric. Okay, that's good. Like that, a little bit softer over here. A little bit softer, that's good. And coming down a little bit over here. And we're gonna have this a little bit darker. Now a little bit darker. Right in here, in the middle. Yes. But this is not the darkest color in the whole painting. So you don't want to make it dark, just make it really dark. Okay, don't need to. Now I'm gonna come back over here. Let's think about where this is the darker shape. And I'm going to put that over here, a little bit darker over here. That's good, like that. Now what I want to do, I'm going to set the color inside the eye. I'm going to prepare the eye, right? What's in the color in the eye? I think this color is just a little bit gray. I'm going to take this, get a little gray, and that's good. Start from a little greenish gray color. And take this, it's good. Now I'm gonna first take a look at the space between the two eyes. So it should be starting over here. Okay, that's good. Start over here. And coming over here. All right, there's, is that supposed to be the space for the eye? Take a look over here, it should be closer. Okay, here we go. Here we go, like that. Here we go, this is the eye. Okay, that's good. Keep a little bit light on the edge, that's okay. Let's take a look at that. Mmm, pretty good. I can come in a little bit more, but that's okay. It's gonna have a little brown color on the, on the inside over here. That's good, that's brown color. I'm gonna make it that. And since we have this color on the top over here, now I'm gonna make that a little bit lower and also have a little bit highlight on the top. You see that a little, a little highlight on the top. In the middle over here, a little bit like this color. And now I'm going to also and make the edge and like this. You see how tiny, tiny line this brush can do. Okay, that's good. Now coming over here, a little bit rounded, that's good, like that. And I'll come back to soften that a little bit later. But I can actually reduce a little bit, that's good. Now coming over here, take a look at the top. Here you go. A little bit different from the other eye, okay, like this. And a little bit in the middle over here, take a look at the space between the two eyes. It's very important. Okay, the same way that you're going to paint a person. 
always thinking about the proportion. Okay, a little bit over here, a little bit darker like that. Now take a look at the sh shape of the whole eye. Take a look. Here you go. Like a little bit rounded coming in over here. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm going to take this color again. And I'm going to have a little bit more like this, even though the darkest color is still yet to come. Okay, now I'm going to make that. It looks like there's just no much highlight in the middle. I'm going to just give a little bit color over here. Just so leave it the edge a little bit softer, right? Now that's good. I'm going to make this shape over here a little bit softer by lift up a little bit on the edge. So it looks like a less contrast. I do like the, well, the colors that we have. That's good. Get some darker color. This is pretty dark. Okay, here we go. Now start from this eye. Let's take a look. Screen your eye so you can see a little bit better. Okay, here we go. A little bit darker color over here. Okay, and we're gonna have a little bit transition a little bit later. Take a little corner of this eye. Okay, that's good. Like that. You can see that connected. That's good. Now take a look at the other corner. I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna have a little bit blue color. That's good, a little bit darker. Now take a look at the corner over here. The line star over here. That's good, like that. And let's take a look at the iris in the middle. Okay, that's good. You can make the highlight more visible. Yeah, you can have this a little bit bigger, a little bit wider. Okay, that's good. And take a look on this side. I'm gonna do the same thing on this corner. Here you go. Like that. And gradually coming to this side. That's good. Like that, I'm going to do a little blending a little bit later. I have this coming over here. And I'm going to have the color a little bit, add a little bit blue color. Here you go, a little bit more red. And pretty good. Now I'm going to take a look at, make it a little bit darker. That's good. Now the middle, there's the pupil right here. Put it down and lift it up. Like that. And I'm going to have some blending over here. I'm going to also the blending on the top, a little bit dark to get a little bit light. Like that. Let's set the color over there first. Now, this is great. And I'm going to come a little bit lighter, uh, the same color. But I'm going to have this a little bit softer, connected. You see that? That's beautiful. And now I'm going to take a look at the hair over here. And I'm going to clean my brush and reshape it really well. Now I'm going to come back over here to give it a little bit more. It's just 45 degree. Okay. I'm going to have a little bit organizing of the hair over here. Here you go. Like that. Here we go. Now just get over here on the top. I'm going to organize that a little bit. Get a little bit more water. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to make this a little bit softer. That's good. That's much better. A little bit softer. And I'm going to have a little bit 
suggestions of the fur. Okay, that's good. A lot better. Now I'm gonna also make this darker shape a little bit softer by having a, a couple of fur like that is good. I'm gonna soften that a little bit. You see, doesn't matter how old the color or how stable the color, if you use the right tools, you still can come back to work on it again and again. The tools what I'm talking about is this brush, the paper I'm using, the pen I'm using, and all those are complete and the magic. And but you know, the tools I'm using is very minimal. Okay, I only have the three main colors, and I use two brushes. So. I'm gonna have this hair a little bit longer. I have a little hair over here a little bit longer. It's just like simple magic. Like that's good. Now I have the suggestions for the fur much better. I'm gonna have this coming down like this. A little bit as a whole group coming down a little bit better. Now I also need to make this a little bit more clear. The um I say uh, the neck over here, the side of the neck. I'm gonna make this a little bit more clear. Okay, that's good. All right, now this is very important. And not just say, I'm gonna paint the nose, paint the eye, paint the mouth. It's gonna look like a cat, no. There's a lots of other things you need to take care of. Uh, the white color I'm using is titanium white as a gouache. Now I'm just going to take the gouache white directly from my tube. Here you go. Don't squeeze it too much, otherwise all the paint is gonna be on your painting. Okay. That's good. Shape it. Now take a look. I'm gonna have the straight line coming from here all the way outside here. Okay, here we go. Whoa, that's good. I'm going to, again, take a look again. Wow, see that how sharp. I'm gonna have another line over here. That's good. Now I'm gonna get more paint. Okay, now I'm gonna have a few more on this side. That's good. A little bit different direction. Like that. That's good. And a little bit over here. Oh, I'm gonna have a couple more. That's good. And take a look at a couple more over here. Oh, that is a little bit too much. And we're gonna leave it there. Um, I think I'm gonna use a little bit, add a little bit more water to my brush. I'm gonna take a look on this side. And this, I'm gonna start from the outside coming in all the way there. Okay, let's see. Like this. Here we go. Like that. Beautiful. I add a little bit more paint. Also at the same time, reshape the brush. Oh, take a look. Wow, some of the hair very long from here all the way coming in here. Okay, that's good. Here we go, a few more. Get a little bit more. I'm gonna get one over here. Like that. That's good. And this, the painting is finished.